Did we do this right now? Or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day? Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John! It's not too far to Ratskeller Park! Come on! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? We haven't gone that far. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set.
he came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? <laughs>